We've all seen this movie that came out some years back portraying the Lakota way of life, that we had a culture, that we had unity, that we had a social order of life, and it was depicted very well. Today we have Napogmus Najiwi, Dances with Wolves, woman, here, and I'd like to ask her to come up and speak to the students, and this is gonna be streamed clear around the world. I just thought, I hope you knew that, Mary. You're going all out every direction around the globe. Please come up and share with us and say a few words to our students and whatever message you bring for us on this day. Thank you. Wapila Tanka. I'm Mary McDonald and um, I'm very honored to be invited into uh, this gathering. 26 years ago, I had the good fortune of coming into your great state and coming into the great region that you have lived on and in and created for a very, very long time. And one of the things that I learned when I was doing the movie Dances with Wolves is that there is a way of thinking, a way of being, a way of living that has a tremendous power and respect to it. And all these years later, uh, through the good fortune of my career that began here, literally, um, and through some of the um, incredible devotion of some of my fans, we started to try and raise some money for Sintagleska. And it brought me closer and closer to this moment. And through conversations with Lionel and Kathy Boyd, I decided to come to a Founders Week and see what I could learn and see if I can um, cultivate a deeper understanding inside of myself as to what it is you are trying to do here and what your vision is for the students and for the future and to see in my heart if there's some place that I can cultivate uh, my own connection to you. So if you see me running around over the next few days and there's anything at all you want to tell me, or you want to ask me, or you want to show me, I am wide open. I am very, very excited. Thank you so much. Uh, most of the students are over here, but there's some over here too, right? It's just that you're the noisy one, so I know where you are, right? Okay. I, I just have to say this. I have to say this. I come from Hollywood where if people are getting an award, they step on each other to get up and get that award. And I've been kind of shocked and really moved by the humility here. In fact, what you all are doing is extraordinary. It really is. There's nothing easy about getting an education. Education is hard. You have to really stretch your mind. You have to really want it. You've got to really fight for it. And it doesn't matter where you are or who you are, that is the case. So please understand the pride that you deserve to feel with all of your accomplishments because it's a very real thing. And it's that very pride that's going to keep you going. It's going to make you turn around and bring your little kids someday or even now, to the daycare center where they, where they can start learning Lakota as a tiny child. I went to college with absolutely no direction whatsoever. I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was a terrible student. I wasn't really motivated. I was like kind of a, a party girl. And when I was in college, I discovered acting. And it changed my life and it woke up my mind. And so the other thing I want to say to you is no matter what you're studying now, study some new things all the time. 
because you never really know what class you take in school is going to be the one that sets you on the path for the rest of your life. There's so many mysteries inside each and every one of you, and you have so much to offer. And some teacher, someday, can say something to you that can set you on fire in a new way. So just my words to you are thank you for allowing me to be here tonight to see all of this, to be inspired by it, to be moved by it, and uh, to be humbled by it, because you all deserve Oscars and Emmys and things like that, you know what I mean? You deserve big awards. These are big, big awards that you received today. Thank you again, please keep going. You have amazing teachers and amazing place to go. I think that's all I want to say except for one more thing. Uh, when I first uh, came here to do the movie 28 years ago, you, know, you all know me as Sam's with Fitz. Well, we had rehearsals and we had to go to school. This is what I wanted to tell you. That's why I'm here, because I had to learn how to say my lines and my coach. The whole cast had to, had to learn, learn. And our teacher was Doris Lederschild, who many of you know was one of the, the great teachers of this school. So Doris became my best friend, and I was a pretty good language student, because I, I've been good with accents. I'm a good faker, so I can sound like I know what I'm saying. So I was a pretty good student in school, but in the morning before we went to language class, we had to go to horseback riding class. Now, I've been on a horse in New York City. Do you know what I mean? And this was, hello, bareback. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. You're not paying me enough for this. I had to get up in the morning and get on a horse with no saddle. But I did it because I had to, because it was my job. And the second day of uh, riding horses, I got on my horse, all the guys, because it was me and the guys, in case you didn't notice, they got on theirs, they took off, and I was left behind. And so that night, when we all went out to dinner and had a few beers, I was renamed Dust in Her Face. I just wanted you to all know that now that you know me well, if you see me on campus, you can just say, hey, Dusty, how you doing? Thank you. Well, Pila Tanka, everyone. Hi. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that 28 years ago, I came here for the first time, and I had no idea where I was, and I was sure I did not belong here. And Doris Leader Charge, her whole family standing behind me, took me under her wing, and she taught me many things about all of you. She took me to my first powwow, this is my second powwow. <laughs> I know, it's funny. And um, I'm very proud to be associated with Sintagleska University. I understood when I had to be instructed in the Lakota language what a beautiful thing it is. I understood as I was learning it that it was something that needed to be preserved and enlivened and all of these kids out here would benefit from knowing it. So I'm kind of committed to helping out with that. You've all taught me a great deal. You've opened your hearts to me. You've opened your homes to me. You've opened your families to me. I'm deeply grateful to all of you. And it's a whole lot of fun to be here. And I thank you. And I thank Lionel Bordo and Cinta Gleska and his whole family for all of the wonderful warmth they've showed me in this situation and I hope to see more of you again. Thank you. Wopi Latonka. Somewhere somebody was doing research and went on and found that Mary is, was a Green Bay Packer fan. So I don't know how quickly they did this but they made her a star quilt with the Green Bay. 
Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. I get Mr. Douglas Gawi, would you come and take our esteemed guest and take her around the, the arbor for the people to greet her? Na pogrebu snažuje, ha? 